Hi, welcome to this training session. This is a question a client actually asked, and it's an answer to a question. Basically, the problem is, is in Excel, say for instance you're typing in a mode of transport, car, and if they type in car, they want, you want them to fill out this box, but not this box here. Maybe the expense is different. And say if they type in bike here, you want them not to type in this box, you want them to type in this box here. So to encourage them to do that, you might grey the box out, and you might not enable them to type in a certain box. And this is what this is about. So to accomplish this, there's two aspects to it, the graying out and the validation or data validation, which is prohibiting the typing of any text into the box, into the cells. So what we'll do start starting off with, we'll start off with the um, car one here and the graying out. So to gray out the cells, it's conditional formatting. So click in B1, click on conditional formatting, we're going to go down to and click on new rule. So the new formatting rule box here pops up. We then choose use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then click in the box at the bottom. And then it says format values where this formula is true. So basically if this is car and we wanted this box to fill, be filled in, basically, what I'm going to do is click on, so A1, as long as I, A1 uh, does not equal car so as long as it isn't car this box won't be grayed out so then I click on formats uh, I can go to the fill format at the top change the color to a gray color I'll click on my OK button here at the bottom and click on OK here and I can see at the moment it's not grayed out because it's car but if I change it to something else say bike you see it's grayed out I change it back to car there we go so we're going to do the same with this one here, so give this one a go, so click on C1, conditional formatting, new rule, user formula, that's good, and then basically if it's car we want them to fill out this one here, so choose a format values where this formula is true, click on A1 here, okay, so as long as that isn't, in this case, bike, so as long as it isn't bike, this one here will be greyed out, so okay, so click on formats, Click on the grey colour there, we'll grey it out with OK and OK. And there we go. So car, we're going to fill this one in. And if I go back here and type in bike, OK, it'll fill that one in. So we're going to fill this one in. So car, we're going to fill that one in. That's greyed out. And bike, we'll fill that one in. So far, so good. Now, the next aspect of this is prohibiting the typing of text in these cells. So you notice that even though it's grey, you can type text into those cells there, and we don't want to be able to do that. So what we're going to do basically is click on there. If that is bike, basically, uh, if that equals bike, then we want that to be pro you know prohibited. We want the, uh, people not to be able to um, put anything in there. You could also do if it's not car, you don't want to put anything in there. So we're going to check to see if that's bike. Uh, okay, it's been a bit more specific there. Maybe there's something else that maybe you wanted to add in there. So this is how we do it. Go to data, data validation, and the data validation box here pops up. Where it says allow any value, click on the drop down list and choose custom. So click on custom and we're going to put a formula in. I'll tell you what, for this I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see the formula. So in the formula itself, I'm just going to click on A1. Okay, so if that's bike, so if A1 is equal to bike. So if it's equal to bike, that means that this data validation will work, it will block it. So click on OK. I'm just going to press F10 to zoom out again. Just click away there. So for instance, that's bike. I try and type in a figure in there. Press tab. And how's it in? Sorry, I do apologize. It's the other way around. That one is here. Let me just give that one a go. Data validation. Change the equals to not equals to bike. That's better. OK, so now I go in here. Type in my 78. And you see it's prevented that. Click on cancel. So that's good. So if it's car, okay, I can now type in my figures there. Let's do the same with this one here. So if you remember that one with the data validation, that's not equal to bike. Okay, so it's on that cell there. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to use this one, data validation, custom. So formula A1. Is not equal to car. 
So as long as it's not equal to car, then it will uh, block, it, block it, basically. So it will allow it in, sorry. Click on OK. That's good. So now that's car. I can type something in here. If I try and type a figure in there, I can't. It's blocked. So there we go. So I can just test it fully. If I type bike in, uh, I can deep this, deep this one here. I can then think, OK, I'll try that. It won't allow me. If I try and type something in here, it will allow me. So there we go. Gives you a quick uh, understanding of how to grey out your cells. Of course, if you had macros and maybe did a bit of VBA code, you'll be able to do something a little fancier. Maybe skip over this cell, etc. And of course, is once this is done, you'll be able to auto fill this down here a little bit, you know, like so. And then you'll be able to type in your car and your bike and that type of thing as well as you're going along. Uh, you might have to change the auto uh, some bits as well. Thank you.